Today we're here with the Citizens Coalition for Common Sense Gun Reform, CCCGR. Common Sense. GSR. To see what people know or don't know about firearms and just how far they're willing to give over the reins to the federal government as far as legislation based on that knowledge. It's common sense. Common sense. As the firearm debate rages on, it's hard to delineate between facts and buzzwords. A semi-automatic assault rifle. Assault rifle. Assault rifle. Semi-automatic assault rifles. Assault weapons are the weapons of choice for mass shooters. Automatic weapons. Semi-automatic assault weapons. Assault weapons. Everyone's on board with common sense, right? Common sense. Common sense measures. Common sense measures. Hashtag common sense. I like to believe I have a shred of common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Common sense. We want to be common uh, sense. That's why when you said common, common sense, sense, I'm like, I'm here. And nobody really wants those scary assault weapons on the streets, right? We're here pushing, for example, a common sense assault weapons ban. But what do those terms actually mean? If anything, legally, more importantly, what do the people voting think they mean? Well, are you a firearm owner? Nope. Okay, great. Are you a gun owner? No. I'm not. You don't shoot guns, you don't own guns? Right. Perfect, good. So, are you a firearm owner? No. Okay. Well, I won't own one. Good, 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 good. I actually own a high capacity semi-automatic. Well, you know what, you're not for us, but thank you, I appreciate okay. it. You can move along, because we need him here. Okay, so you don't own guns, you don't go shooting. Good, that's exactly who we want. So, do you own any firearms? Hell no. Oh, good, perfect. That's who we want signing this. Do you have like a sliding scale of what you think should be okay to own? versus what's unreasonable. What would be fine versus what the government needs to step in and ban? Well, maybe like the hunting ones are pretty normal, right? right? Okay, like so those, yeah. Like, no, those look like so you'd, somebody need to own that. Right, does anything pop out at you? Probably the uh, two on the right. Those you'd say like people don't need that? Those down there. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say not the scary, The scary black ones? And anything yeah, yeah. That... But something like this? No. No, something like this? No. Illegal? Illegal. 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 This? No. No, and this? No. No one needs, you know, something like an AK and AR. You know, fully automatic. Right, but maybe maybe something like this, like a 30 yacht, something like this. I don't think so. Okay, so that, but that 22, we're good. Yeah. Okay, something like this, a hunting rifle. Yes. Yeah, well, the wood and the metal. Yeah. Hunting rifle. Uh, something like this, another hunting rifle. Sure. 30 yacht six hunting rifle. I'm fine with that. Fine with that. Your basic lever action 357. Yeah, you can only get 13 rounds in that. Right off the bat, everybody had strong opinions and feelings. But how much do these experts actually know about firearms? If anything... Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's an Uzi. Well, no one needs a fully semi-automatic weapon. Careful, careful. You never know when firearms can just, you know, do their thing. Do they shoot one at a time or all? They're, it's fully semi-automatic. Oh, okay, then no. Yeah, okay, so no. <laughs> these are all automatic? Well, the, yeah, many of these, some of these are fully, fully semi-automatic. Pause for those watching this who don't yet know. Fully semi-automatic is a very stupid made up term uh, by me to continue. Well, there's no such thing as fully semi-automatic. Well, we can get into wordplay, sure, but nobody needs a fully semi-automatic weapon. No, yeah. Exactly. I mean, what's the reason for like a fully semi-automatic? AK-47, no one no. Have you heard of the AR-15? That's the bad one. AR-15. AR-15s. AR-15. ARs, you know, 17s. AR-15. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the, that's the really bad one if you pay attention to the news. That's the one that's like, that's the worst. And this is an AR-15. No. Have you heard about the AR-15? No, but it looks worse than that one. It looks, it looks worse, right? Yeah. yeah. So is it because of the magazine capacity? No, look at it. Yeah, it does look it's really not a, sinister. It's not a hunting gun. No, like. They don't need that. No, you know. No one hunts with those. No one hunts with those. You no know one needs a semi-automatic. AR-15 or AK-47. Yeah. Right. I mean, what's the deer? Is it a Rambo deer? Something like, was it, I think 98% of mass shootings use the AR-15? You, are you aware of that? Like, that's one that's using like 90, what is it, 99.4 of mass shootings. Only none of that is true. See these actual statistics regarding mass shootings. Let's see if they have any better luck with handguns. Do you think anyone really needs a handgun? Handguns are something that, you know, I can look with. I don't see a problem with handguns. It's the, um, I guess, because like, Right. No one's committing. No one's committing mass shootings with these. Yeah. You know? Right. I mean, well, let's... I mean... Do you think that anyone really needs a handgun in 2016? Maybe a hunt, or maybe if you're like out in the wilderness. Okay. You know, you don't need an eight round right. handgun. Yeah. You know, if it's, right. if it's 10 rounds of 22 or something, that's fine. It's common sense. You know, I mean, I understand why some people think they have to have a gun for self-protection and I feel sorry for them. But it's common sense. Common that's sense. right. Yeah. Common sense. Sure, yeah, you know, that's why you, you call that. someone else right. so, I mean, I to ensure your livelihood. Two guns. Nope, no better with handguns. Uh, surprise.
Turns out common sense opinions on guns doesn't involve any actual knowledge of guns. Let's see if they fare any better with calibers. This is just your basic 30 out 6 hunting rifle. Something like this, you know, a hunting rifle. Yeah, sure. I'm fine with that. Fine with that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that should be okay. That should be okay. Yeah, when it's wood and metal, it's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. What about calibers? Do you have an issue, for example, what kind of caliber is okay? Like, in this, this is 22 Obviously small. Those, those look a little big. Do you think someone like needs that big. here to hunt? I wouldn't think Super. so. No, something like that can cause a lot of damage. Think, I think the deer's done. Blah, blah. When you get into the chopper, it's funny, that one was perfectly fine with the gun that fires the 30-06, but thought that the 30-06 round should be banned. The wood and the metal confuses people. So maybe, so maybe something like, like that. Yeah. You know, something, something like this, like a much smaller hunting round, right? Would be reasonable. And so you've got like a 22. Deer is just as dead. The moose is just as good dead if you have, you know, when you just one of these. Deer tastes just as good. Tastes just as good in the table. You will only wound the animals and put them into misery. So you're saying someone needs this to hunt? Yes. Well, on that we disagree, sir. Okay, this next one's a magic trick, okay? Because everybody was against this gun, this gun, and okay with this gun. But, ta-da, same round. They're voting your president. One thing too, a lot of people miss this they don't think about it no. gun storage oh, yeah. firearm storage yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where a lot of accidents happen we just don't want people with easily accessible like loaded firearms you know yeah. just at a moment's notice sure. firearm has to be unloaded trigger guard in a micro safe and a macro safe with the bullets somewhere else common sense basically so it's not usable for home defense or anything other than hunting or target shooting. Does that seem common sense? Yeah, that seems common sense. You know, that way a kid just doesn't get it, you know, and just, you know, you don't know what he's gonna no, do. I, I'm, I'm Might try and take a nap with it, so safe in a safe, and then bullet somewhere else. Does that seem like something we can be on board with? Yeah, I think so, for the sake yeah. of these. Just yeah, a, just yeah. two safes and a trigger lock without bullets. It's common sense. So you have bullet regulation, but more importantly, common sense clip regulation. Oh, well, that's a multi-clip, isn't it? Yes, that's no, a multi-clip. No, okay, now here's the thing about clips. Right, it's so like these are these are clips. Oh, yeah. They use these they use these terms that are benign, like they say magazine. Oh. So you think, oh, what, what is there? Us Weekly or People? It's a clip. It's a clip. It's a clip. I hate me too. I live in the hood. Really? And where all my uh, where, where, where do all my hood thugs get their guns? Your guy? Yeah, no, <laughs> from the NRA members who don't lock them up. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Get them from the NRA? Yeah, because the members don't lock them up. Really? Well, they don't go out and buy legal guns. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I know that. So time. these people are breaking in, they're committing crimes, and you know, yeah. we're just trying to fight it with some common sense legislation so criminals don't break the law. God have mercy on your soul. Thank you, yes, thank you. No home defense, no. No need. I'll throw one of the cats at. There you go. Crazy cat guy. That's what we want signing. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag LGBTQAIP. Hashtag common sense. Let the NRA know that you don't want them selling any more guns. He agrees. Well, there you have it. The people who've never owned guns, fired guns, or even seen guns are the ones most likely to remarkably quickly sign petitions to actively ban your guns. These are the same people electing your next president. It's common sense. <laughs>